Our next project is a jute basket. Today, Ghana is known for its rich culture and diverse landscapes, including the savanna grasslands where the weavers get the materials for these baskets. The heavy elephant grass used in these baskets is tightly woven, making each basket strong yet flexible. Colors and weaving designs on these elephant grass baskets are varied. Our basket is made from jute in a subdued color scheme. Here's what you'll need. We're using a kit that contains all of the supplies to make 24 baskets. There's a tablecloth, jute, paint brushes, pony beads, the basket shape, brown paint, and of course your instructions. You'll also need scissors and a ruler and optional glue. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to take our form and we're going to paint it using the brown paint. Now if you'd like it to leave it white, you can do that as well and you want to paint all of the surfaces. You're going to go along all of the tines of the basket on the top and bottom, and then you're going to want to let this dry overnight, or actually at least for a couple hours, because you want to make sure that it's nice and dry. But we are using an acrylic, which does dry quickly. So take your time and paint all of the basket ribs. I'll set that aside. I've got one that's all painted. As you can see, I've painted the interior and the exterior. Now you're going to take four yards of the jute. Nice tip is I have a craft stick and I wound my four yards on. That keeps it from unraveling. I'm going to attach it to one of the basket ribs, tie a knot, and I'm just tying a simple overhand knot and tie a second knot to make sure it's secure and then bring that knot to the interior. Now, what's really important about this basket is that these forms already have an odd number, which is what allows us to weave. So we're going to go over one and under the next, over and under, and keep continuing all the way around the design. As you can see, there's a nice little knob at the top that's holding your design on. Then when we get back, to the, our starting point, we're automatically going to be going under because of the odd number of, of the ribs. Then slide this all down, make sure it's nice and tight and secure. You wanna pull each one individually. So I'm gonna go down, again, down, pull it tight, keep pulling it tight all the way down. Now when you get about halfway done, Pull this one aside, I've got one all the way done. We're going to start adding the beads. One of the tips that I like to do is to add a dab of glue at the end of my jute because then that keeps it into a nice point and it also keeps any of the strands from separating. I'm gonna add on like five or six beads at one time. And you'll see when I add it, uh, we'll pull those all down. And I'm doing alternating colors. You could choose to do a pattern. Once you've played with this a few times, you're gonna see different ideas of how you might like to change your basket. Then I'm gonna slide all my beads down closer to my work. And then I'm gonna continue weaving. So I'm gonna slide one bead down and weave over the next rib. You can see I'm still doing the over and under pattern. Slide another bead down and nestle that in between. Slide another bead down and go under the next one. Now you can see right there I've made a mistake because I have not gone over and under. And it's really easy to tell what you need to do. So I'm going over again sliding another bead down, over again, and keep sliding the beads. And they're just nestling in between, or you may choose to do every other. You can ch choose whichever way you'd like to do your pattern. It's right there, I can skip one. So you'll continue on. You can make a whole stripe pattern around. You can continue adding beads on every single row. Maybe you only wanna do two or three beads on one section. Any way you wanna do it is fine. Then when you get to the very end, you're going to knot it off just like we did at the beginning and push your knot to the back. 
Now let's take a look at our finished basket. As you can see, I've done two rows, rows of beads in an alternating pattern, and it looks great working its way around the middle.